Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on the new upcoming series, Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for my thoughts on where this series might go and what we can expect out of it. So before we get into this video, I do ask if you like Comic Island to subscribe to our channel and check out our page in the video description below. Now, yesterday, DC had a very interesting press release about Scott Snyder's new big Batman project. It's a pretty fun follow-up to his event, Dark Knight's Metal, where we were introduced to a dark multiverse filled with worlds that basically were formed a long time ago but weren't quite complete and sort of fell away, falling apart and ultimately not becoming a proper universe. These worlds often feature Batman who are horribly corrupted, where events that went a certain way in the mainstream DC universe went horribly wrong and things have become twisted or cruel or something. Usually monstrous or creepy in some form or another. So now we're going to have a whole series of one-shots that focus on individual universes within the Dark Multiverse. And I'm pretty excited about it overall. The press release is full of great little details about what this series is going to be and where it's going to go from here, so let's take a look at it and what it has to offer in terms of this new series coming out in October. So first up, right out of the gate, we know that one, the first story that's going to be introduced is Batman Nightfall, a take on the original story where Batman's back is broken, only things go even worse in this alternate one. So basically DC is going to be revisiting a lot of their best of former stories, and doing whole different dark alternate takes of them, using the advantages of the dark multiverse to sort of let loose and show us something really creepy and weird compared to what we expect out of the normal versions of these stories. They're also going to be coming out with $1 reprints of the original comics each of these issues are based on, which I think is a pretty cool way to pick up some classic DC comic books for a very cheap price at your local comic book store. The rest of the press release promises some pretty interesting stuff, so I'm going to read through it pretty quick. DC announced plans today to put a twisted and terrifying spin on some of the biggest, most game-changing events in its publishing history with a series of prestige format one-shots called Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Beginning in October, DC's most talented artists and writers will take on fan-favorite events from the DC multiverse down a dark and twisted path. Co-written by Scott Snyder, Dark Knight's Metal, Justice League, The Batman Who Laughs, and Kyle Higgins, Deathstroke, Batman Eternal, Nightwing, The New Order, with art by Javier Fernandez, Justice League, and a cover by Lee Weeks, Batman, the first one-shot takes place in Gotham City 30 years after a broken Bruce Wayne failed to take back the mantle of the Bat. In his place arose John Pal Valley, also known as Saint Batman. Under his rule, Saint Batman has turned Gotham into a city of his dreams. Killing has become commonplace, and criminals live in constant fear all in the name of justice. But when all seems lost, a new hope for Gotham rises, the Son of Bane. Another issue seems equally promising, featuring the death of Superman. The Dark Multiverse takes on the highest selling comic book event of all time, courtesy of writer Jeff Loveness, Rick and Morty, DC's Nuclear Winter Special, DC's Mysteries of Love and Space, with art by Brad Walker, Detective Comics, and Andrew Hennessy, Sinestro, The Demon, Hell is Earth, Titans with a cover by Lee Weeks. In a broken world much like her own, Lois Lane, twisted by rage and grief over the Man of Steel's death, becomes the Eradicator, taking revenge on those who let Superman die and the corrupt world he could never defeat. Now, with the power of a god, she's going to end the never-ending battle by any means necessary, halting the reign of Superman before it even begins. These are the first of several titles in this new line. Additional one-shots will focus on other events such as Infinite Crisis, Blackest Night, New Teen Titans, The Judas Contract, and more. Each of these prestigious format one-shots is 48 pages long at the price of $5.99. Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Batman Nightfall No. 1, will be available at comics shops and participating digital retailers on Wednesday, October 16th. Tales from the Dark Multiverse, The Death of Superman No. 1, arrives at comic shops and digital retailers two weeks later. Wednesday, October 30th. Time to the release of each Tales from the Dark Multiverse title, fans can also purchase a $1 reprint of the original comic each story is based on. Batman No. 497, October 16th, and Superman No. 75, October 30th. So there you have it. That's the press release and what we've gotten so far out of the series. I gotta say there's a lot of information in there and it's a pretty promising series overall. I don't think it's gonna last forever. I think it can be best viewed as a sort of a mini-series that's gonna last about as long as it lasts. I don't 
love that each of these is its own little number one title, but the cool thing about that is if one of these ends up becoming some sort of runaway hit, they can turn it into a full series very organically, which is kind of fun. There's probably some good ideas being floated around here. So far what we've seen is a lot of pretty standard what-ifs type content. The Reign of Superman thing very much feels like Lois Lane kills the DC Universe, at least on paper. But that's okay, that sounds fun if you ask me, and on the whole this seems pretty promising more than it isn't. I like the idea of it, and I really like the Dark Multiverse. If you want to learn more about that, we'll post something in the video description where you can check out Dark Knight's Metal for yourself. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the original Death of Superman story arc, we have covered it to a degree on our channel. You can check out that video uh, right over here in this little white exclamation mark button thing we've made. And that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and let me know what you think of all this in the video description below. I don't know whether or not we're going to be checking those issues out, October is a long ways away and it's hard to predict these things, but it does look cool and I probably will be reading these comics at some point on my own regardless of whether or not we end up covering them. If you want us to cover them, then by all means let me know in the video description and leave a comment about what you think of this series or whether or not you think it's worth our time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.